Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we are going to be uh, talking about uh, cell selection. So, showing basically uh, the selection uh, selected cells, uh, and then uh, displaying a checkbox. And when you click done, uh, it should actually erase uh, uh, or reset uh, its state. And uh, when you actually click edit again, it should start from fresh. Okay, so that's what we're going to build uh, in this video. Uh, quick update on the issue that we found uh, where if you offset uh, your um, so this is the exact issue that I found like you know basically if you offset one row and you come back basically you disable your edit mode and then you bring your cells back uh, it still displays those in the edit mode so uh, basically um, this happens so let's say if we do this and uh, Okay, so I'm seeing that issue. Uh, so if you notice, uh, we see that issue even for some of the cells uh, at the top. Actually, so okay, so it mostly happens at the top uh, where when you have uh, when you have offsets uh, when you have offset uh, like you know a little bit like in you know, a couple of rows then uh, it actually does not update that. But if you, let's say you have offset for a whole bunch um, and enough, and take a look. When you're scrolling like really slow, this is what like, you know, it shows. Uh, I can't seem to find like, you know, why uh, uh, it is basically doing that. Um, uh, the, the, one of the one of the thing that I actually did was uh, super dot prepare for reuse and uh, for select label uh, dot is hidden is equal to whatever uh, opposite to is editing is and uh, when I did this uh, it did not have any effect at the top uh, for, for the row at the top so if I do this um, you can see the bottom one does not show up but the top one is still there. Now this issue actually is uh, something with the collection view and I could not seem to find any answer uh, uh, for like you know why this is happening. Okay so here's what I need your help with. If you find this um, uh, like a solution please please post it uh, in our Q&A. Okay so so we get to learn we all get to learn uh, something new uh, like how to basically deal with this issue uh, alternatively if you absolutely have to do it the only option that I found that uh, you could do is reload the collection view I know it's not ideal but like you know that's the only way uh, that remains or reload that section um, now uh, one more thing uh, first of all I, I, I was thinking like you know what the issue is called so Basically, uh, it's the issue with the offset cells. So when you scroll, uh, remember that reuse identifier thing that we have? Um, see, it's still happening. So uh, I don't know why it's just really weird. Okay, so the reuse identifier that we that we have, right? That actually decues a reusable cell. Whenever it decues a reusable cell, it keeps some cells in the buffer. So whatever cells are being displayed on the screen, other than that, there are a few cells that's gonna keep, it's gonna render it as a buffer. Uh, so it doesn't have to render really quickly when user is scrolling, uh, like, you know, really fast. Um, so for that reason, it actually keeps those uh, buffer uh, cells uh, as an offset. And that offset is basically what's uh, causing this issue. So cells that are visible in offset but not really visible is what the main issue is. Okay, so uh, I hope uh, you understood the issue. And if you find any solution, please post a solution into the community. Okay, all right. So moving forward uh, with, the, um, uh, with the functionality that we are actually trying to build. Um, so... We are going to make uh, the selection work. So basically, we're going to display which row uh, user is selected and show a check mark around it. So let's go ahead and click on your custom cell. You're already there. 
and we're gonna override a selected state and we're gonna put a did separate observer into that you can say if is editing then we're gonna say select label dot text is equal to is selected basically whatever is selected is put a ter uh, ternary operator so we definitely want to display nothing when we don't have it selected and what we're going to display here is um, basically an emoji. So let's go ahead and edit and emoji. And we're going to display the check mark. So let's see what kind of check mark do we want to use. Um, oh, that's not there. I had this check mark and uh, I think this is one of the symbols. One of the math symbols, yeah. Okay, so uh, let's take a look. There you go, this one right here. Yeah, that's it. So it's one of the math symbols um, that we selected. So, uh, so this is what we're gonna what we want to show so if I actually go ahead and rerun this so let's go ahead and stop okay simulator crashed looks like all right so looks like I'm uh, having a little bit issue with the Xcode, so let me go ahead and and pause the video and um, I'll figure out what issue with Xcode is. All right, I'll be right back.